savvy. Yo, what's up? Globe trotters and armchair adventurers, it's your girl Kiki back at it again with another travel tale that's wilder than your last Tinder date. We're talking about Tanzania, the African jewel where lions be chilling like villains in a Bond film and zebras be rocking those stripes like they own the catwalk. I know what you're thinking. Kiki, isn't Tanzania dangerous? Look, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This ain't no walk in Central Park, but trust me, the thrill is worth the risk. Plus, I'm a savvy traveler, not a sitting duck. So buckle up, Buttercup, because we're about to dive headfirst into the heart of Africa. Get ready for safari adventures, beach bumming in Zanzibar, and maybe, just maybe, a close encounter with a lion. Don't worry, I packed my running shoes. First up, the Serengeti. Imagine a vast savanna stretching as far as the eye can see. A seemingly endless expanse of golden grasslands that shimmer under the African sun. Dotted with iconic acacia trees, this landscape is teeming with more wildlife than you can shake a selfie stick at. Herds of wildebeest, zebras, and gazelles move in unison, creating a mesmerizing dance of survival. We're talking lions, elephants, giraffes, the whole gang's here. It's like stepping into a live-action Lion King. Minus the singing animals, thank goodness. The lions, with their majestic manes, rule the savanna, while giraffes gracefully nibble on the treetops. And the best part? You get to cruise around in these badass safari vehicles, bumping along dirt roads and dodging dung beetles. The thrill of the ride is unmatched, as you never know what you might encounter around the next bend. It's like a roller coaster, but with a higher chance of spotting a leopard chilling in a tree. These elusive cats blend seamlessly into the foliage, making each sighting a rare and exhilarating experience. But let's be real, the real stars of the show are the elephants. These guys are massive, majestic, and they know how to work a crowd. Watching a herd of elephants move across the savanna is like witnessing a grand parade, each step echoing with power and grace. One time we were driving along, and this huge bull elephant just decided to cross the road right in front of us. It was a moment of pure awe, as this gentle giant moved with such confidence and authority. No warning, no hesitation, just pure elephant swagger. It was epic. The sheer size and presence of these creatures leave you speechless, reminding you of the raw beauty and power of nature. Every safari in the Serengeti is a new adventure, a chance to connect with the wild in a way that is both humbling and exhilarating. So pack your bags, grab your camera, and get ready for the experience of a lifetime. The Serengeti awaits. Now let's talk about baboons. These guys are the clowns of the savanna, always up to mischief. And trust me, when I say mischief, I mean it. One time, we were having breakfast at our lodge, and a whole troop of baboons decided to crash the party. They were swinging from the chandeliers, stealing pastries off people's plates. It was chaos. I swear, I even saw one trying to make off with someone's phone. I managed to escape with my snacks intact, but it was a close call. Lesson learned, never underestimate the cunning of a hungry baboon. They're smarter than they look, and they have no shame. After roughing it on safari, it was time for some serious R&R &R in Zanzibar. Picture this. White sand beaches, turquoise waters, and palm trees swaying in the breeze. It's the kind of place where you can sip on a coconut, soak up some rays, and pretend you're in a cheesy music video. But Zanzibar is more than just a pretty face. It's got history, culture, and enough spice markets to make your nostrils tingle. We're talking cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg. The air is thick with the scent of exotic spices. Now, a word to the wise. Zanzibar is notorious for its beach boys, local dudes who try to sell you everything from trinkets to tours. Just remember, everything's negotiable, and a firm no, thank you goes a long way. Climbing Kilimanjaro. Because who needs oxygen anyway? Okay, so maybe I didn't actually climb Kilimanjaro, like who has that kind of time or energy? But I did get pretty close though. And let me tell you, that mountain is no joke. It's massive, it's majestic, and it will make you question your life choices in a good way. Even just hiking around the base of Kilimanjaro was an unforgettable experience. The scenery is breathtaking, the air is fresh, and you're surrounded by nature's glory. Plus, you can impress your friends with your almost climbed Kilimanjaro story. Tanzanian food. More than just grub, it's a vibe. Let's talk about the food, baby. Tanzanian cuisine is a delicious fusion of African, Indian, and Middle Eastern flavors. Think fragrant curries, grilled meats, fresh seafood, and enough rice and ugali, a type of maize porridge to feed a small army. One of my favorite dishes was pilau, a flavorful rice dish cooked in coconut milk and spices. It's basically the Beyonce of rice dishes, bold, beautiful, and always a crowd pleaser. But the best part of Tanzanian food is the communal aspect. It's all about sharing platters, digging in with your hands, and enjoying good food with good company. The people are dope. Seriously so friendly it's suspect. Look, I'm from New York City. We invented side-eye and not my problem. So when I tell you the people in Tanzania are friendly, I mean it. Like, suspiciously friendly. 
Everywhere you go, people greet you with a smile and a jumbo. That's hello in Swahili. They're always down to chat, offer directions, or just share a laugh. It's enough to make you wonder what they're putting in the water over there in a good way, of course. But seriously, the warmth and hospitality of the Tanzanian people is something that will stay with me long after the tan lines have faded. Travel savvy tips, don't be that tourist. Now before you go booking your flight to Tanzania, let's talk about a few savvy travel tips, because nobody likes a clueless tourist except maybe the baboons. They live for that stuff. First up, pack light. Trust me, you don't need your entire wardrobe for a week in the bush. Plus, it leaves more room in your suitcase for souvenirs. Second, learn a few basic Swahili phrases. It's amazing how far a little effort can go in terms of connecting with the locals. Plus, it's a great way to impress your friends back home with your newfound linguistic skills. And finally, be respectful. This should go without saying, but always be respectful of the local culture, customs, and wildlife. Remember, you're a visitor in their home. Kiki's Guide to Not Getting Eaten by Lions or Scammers Let's be real. Africa can be a wild place. The landscapes are breathtaking, the wildlife is awe-inspiring, and the culture is rich and diverse. But it's not just the lions and elephants you need to be cautious of. And I'm not just talking about the wildlife. The urban jungle can be just as treacherous if you're not prepared. So here are a few Kiki-approved tips to help you navigate the urban jungle and avoid becoming lion lunch or a scammer's next victim. 1. Don't be flashy. Leave your bling at home. Flashy jewelry and expensive gadgets can make you an easy target for thieves. Trust me, a Rolex doesn't scream savvy traveler, it screams easy target. Instead, opt for simple, understated accessories that don't draw too much attention. 2. Be aware of your surroundings. This ain't the time to be walking around with your head in the clouds or your phone for that matter. Keep your eyes and ears open and stay alert to what's happening around you. 3. Trust your gut. If something feels off, it probably is. Your instincts are your best friend in unfamiliar situations. Or, don't be afraid to say no. Whether it's a pushy vendor or a shady character, a firm no can be your best friend. It's okay to be assertive and protect your personal space. Remember, common sense is your best defense against both predators and pickpockets. Simple precautions can go a long way in keeping you safe. Stay aware, stay safe, and most importantly, have fun. Traveling is about experiencing new things and making memories, so don't let fear hold you back. Embrace the adventure, but do so with a healthy dose of caution. Whether you're exploring the savannas or the city streets, these tips will help you stay one step ahead and enjoy your journey to the fullest. All right, you've wasted enough time. Get out there. And there you have it, folks. My wild and wacky adventures in Tanzania have come to an end, but the memories will last a lifetime. From the bustling streets of Dar es Salaam to the serene beaches of Zanzibar, every moment was an adventure. My wild and wacky adventures in Tanzania the safari was an absolute highlight, with close encounters with majestic elephants, playful zebras, and even a pride of lions basking in the sun. The thrill of seeing these magnificent creatures in their natural habitat is something that words can hardly capture. From safari thrills to Zanzibar chills, this East African gem has something for everyone, except maybe people who are afraid of baboons. Seriously, those things are ruthless. The beaches of Zanzibar were a perfect contrast to the wild savannas, offering a tranquil escape with crystal clear waters and soft white sands. Whether you're an adrenaline junkie or a beach bum, Tanzania has got you covered. Now before you wander off to book your next adventure, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. So if you've had fun or learned anything, do us a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share, that stuff really helps out the channel. We really need your help in building our community. We release polls at 9 a.m. Eastern every day. You can find them on our community tab. A short video at 2.15 p.m. daily and a longer type video every other day. We'd love to hear from you. Leave us a hello in the comments below. Also, you can check out the super links we have in the description for Savvy Travel Gear to help keep you safe on your next journey. Or if you prefer, you could simply buy me a coffee with the QR code on the screen or with the link in the description below. We are so grateful for your love and support of the channel. Remember to be kind, be gentle with yourself, and know that you are appreciated. Peace.